I okay, this is Ray Bang Bang Hill. I mean, sorry, this is Bang Bang Ray Hill. And this is Jay. Sorry, we've been mucking about with the phone. The phone just keeps fucking about. We've done it about four times. Okay, good. Jay, you all right, yeah? Sorry yeah, about this, yeah. Jay. No, it's all good. But like I was saying about my neighborhood and stuff and um, where I'm from, like I said, I was very naive because there are really good quiet areas where I'm from. Um, and it doesn't seem like anything would happen. But lo and behold... Um, the racist group called the KKK actually doesn't stay that far from me. You know, it's not like they stay in groups or anything, so don't get me wrong. But as a collective, they are sprawled out around my neighborhood and like um, a couple miles out. You know what I'm saying? Um, but in the time that I was growing up and my generation, I was just kind of told about it. You know what I mean? I They, they didn't do any... Um, rallies or any um what do they used to do little festivals and stuff like that they didn't do any of of that i guess because their period and stuff was gone but when the elections came for um donald trump a few years ago which is very embarrassing i personally feel it was like they just came out of the woodworks all over again and i'm like oh but it wasn't just in my neighborhood it was you know all over the states but yeah <laughs> they, they came out of they came out of the woodwards just they to exist? vote. KKK exists. They still exist, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, like I said, just a few years ago, they, they you thought they were dead. No, they popped right back up. <laughs> um, and it wasn't just them, but that's just a personal example that I can say. You know what I'm saying? Um, that 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 dashed away that naive thinking of me just hearing about it and like, okay, all right, you know, but to see it in my adulthood, like, God, they still here. They, they, that's sad. Like, oh, they are around. And <laughs> I don't know. Have you ever know. seen any violence? <laughs> have you ever seen any violence? Have you ever seen yeah, any Yeah, yeah. Um, in my cities and in different areas, uh, random, random stuff. Like anybody, like, um, you were telling me about some of the bodyguards. A, what about the bodyguards? You, here, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Here's a wild story. One time we were going through Texas, right? Um, let's just say that I don't even want to say the cities, um, because it'd be hard to explain. But I was going through Texas from one area to the next, and I was coming back through to get to, um, Louisiana, and randomly, at what three in the morning we're going past in a van and shit you not we're at a stop we're at a stoplight and it's like this 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 white car comes up and it's a nice car and it's like as if he kicked this girl out of the car some hooker obviously because he takes off and flies through all of a sudden some police fly through but then a few seconds we're all still sitting at the light a few seconds later here comes another car picks her up in a dang car. I'm like, the fuck is going on? And we go through that like bus around the corner trying to jump on um the freeway and it's right underneath where stuff happened. You just had to turn this corner where I was at. You can hear the gunshot. Pop, 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 pop. I'm like, man, let's go. <laughs> it's too early. It's too early. Let's go. We ain't from around here. Let's go. <laughs> you see random stuff like that. Um, but that was Texas. I'm not from there, so I can't say nothing. But that was something funny I seen. Talk about Mexico. <laughs> you were telling me about Mexico and you were driving for that one. Oh, um, I can't tell any just personal, personal stories um, from me. It was through one of my best friends. Um, because in my area, we do have a lot of Latinos and stuff like that mixed in. Um, so we click. I end up clicking really good. And she told me some stuff over there that just, we don't have nothing on like Their violence is just beyond natural sometimes. Um, they can be very dangerous if you don't know where you're going. If you ain't got no certain destination or no friends or no family or anything, or not going to a tourist spot, you got to be careful. Um, cause they do, they do savage things. I, you, I just don't understand, you know, they'll, they'll, 
massacre our whole family to prove what point, you know. But there are sad parts and sad things over there too. Like they, their water, you can't drink their water, you'll get sick. There's something in their water. And it's been going on like that for years. But then where I live, the state right above me, in, in certain areas, it's not all over, but their water is contaminated too. <laughs> their water is contaminated and our Who's government. Uh, that, uh, I, uh, look, I don't know. It's a whole, that's a conspiracy theory. But what everybody does know is it's been lasting a while and our government ain't trying to fix it at all. And the stories that I hear over here about your government, I know that you guys think um, you've been controlled or trapped maybe with uh, the lockdowns and stuff like that. And it's been a long time and uh, we've communicated, Ray, and different ones over here. And I know it seems like it's a lot of pressure, but honestly, it's very smart and very, very safe. We are not like that anymore. We rushed out of ours way too quick. The moment we rushed out, people are still dropping like flies. You still got to be careful. Still got to wear masks. You guys did it real right and still take your time. Be careful constantly with all that stuff that you might think is fake or whatever. I don't know, but do it anyway. Protect yourself anyway because I had friends and family members who had it. But by the grace of God, they some made it. But some older ones didn't. Some of them didn't. So it's real. Something about it's real. So I know you seem pissed off, but your government isn't as bad to me. Your health care. I dropped my jaw like, what? You can, you don't really have insurances or for it. Like, they try to help you guys. It's hard to explain. I know I seem baffled or whatever. And I, I know you guys probably have your own ups and downs with your government like everybody. But this one doesn't seem half bad <laughs> compared to what I go through and other Americans go through. The more you make over there, it's the more they take. Period, point blank. Period. Um, to sit there and look at your pay stub and to see how much you made every week or every two weeks, how hard you worked, all that money made up, but then to see the actuality of what you're bringing home when you don't have certain dependents or kids and stuff like that. They're taking two and three hundred dollars every paycheck. And you're like, for what? For what? So you can sit there, build another bank for another millionaire who's living in the shadows somewhere in our in, in my little city. <laughs> They're constantly building banks. And it's like for who? For what? I mean you they're, they're fixing big, dumb roads. Sorry, they don't use it right. So yeah. you've got a big hummer out there. Big the hummer, yeah? <laughs> right, a big hummer outside the house, yeah? I mean, yeah, that's what y'all that, call it compared to the comp. Is that what you drive Is that what you drive around? Is that what you drive about your <laughs> no, country? No, no. So why right. you got a big hummer no, out there? No, 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 yeah, no. Right, no. I know it's, it's hummer-like. <laughs> but yeah. y'all stuff is very compact. It's very compact and it's very, very small. Like, uh you only have like one lane to go one one way each way. I'm not even tripped out about the fact that you drive on the left side. It makes sense, but it's just so small. <laughs> I see some American cars and I look at them I'm like, oh, I know the car. And I look at the name like, that's not the car in America. And it blows my mind like, What's a P-Got and all that stuff? It's cool. It's different. And your stuff is so small, but I'll never see. Like, all right. Just because um, that's kind of bigger or whatever. And, yeah, <laughs> the stuff I have in America is a slightly bigger over here. It Not everybody um, is rich, even though they, they have bigger car. Stuff in America is just big. We're just greedy, period. Um... My dad, he has a truck that I will never see over here. But he ain't, he's not rich. It's an average pickup truck. But it's it's wide. It sets wider. His truck could take up both of your lanes. <laughs> I'll never see his truck over here. But it's not like it's flashy. 
um, some of my friends' trucks and cars and vans. I'll never see over here. I've never seen a Denali. I've never seen a Suburb. <laughs> you don't have them. But in a sense, I can. It makes sense because ugh, Americans are greedy. Um, we're not as healthy. We're not as clean. So all that big stuff drinks gas, man. It looks nice. It looks cool. I'm riding in something big and I jump out. You know how much it took to fill that tank up? <laughs> That's not cool. That's nothing to brag about. It takes a lot to fill that tank up. And sometimes it's not even worth it. Like you're blowing. Just to fill up some trucks is what you, would you consider? 60 pounds. And sometimes that's only halfway. That's not even on full. How do you feel how do you feel about how do you feel about the um I mean, you got the knife crime in his country, yeah? Yeah, you told gun, me about you that. you got the gun crime in your country. Mm. Is it more knife crime in your country, or is it more gun it's, crime? It, uh, it can be a mix. It can be a mix. So what do you feel about the kids, the way they go about um, working? I mean, what was, your, what was you like when you were a kid uh, uh, working? Now, did you, I mean, God, obviously, you didn't start off as a singer. I mean, you done, no, 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 no. You, know, you told me you done all your, um, all your um, what was it, all your... Uh, your mom and your dad yeah and... they they just did their best to just raise me right and and show me the straight way of working hard and 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 um never giving up despite the odds regardless of race regardless of my gender um just just keep fighting because regardless of your race as a female over there you don't get paid the same um as a male um you don't, uh, and I, I did forklifting and, and men like jobs and stuff like that, um, but you don't get paid the same, so all that fight for women's rights and I want to be equal, not, not bashing it because <laughs> I'm a woman, but we, we're we still not equal, not completely, still not equal, so I mean, but it got somewhere, there's progress, there's progress, but I was taught to just uh, work hard. If you if you work hard and never give up and and stay in education and stuff and fight for it, you, you're eventually gonna get somewhere. What's meant for you is meant for you. You you know what I'm saying? Uh, can't nobody take it from you. So I went through my moments where out of high school I should have just went straight to college. And I, in a sense, I tried to go to a community college. But I let life and relationships and stuff like that take over. And being young um, and my sexuality, I end up getting caught up with chasing after love and stuff like that, you know. And I got in a bad relationship. It was abusive. And got, got caught up doing things that I shouldn't, like alcohol and a few drugs. You know, I, I didn't do any... Uh, heroin or like speed or anything back, back, but back, back, back. i've done it okay. I, I, yeah i've i've done alcohol um i've been a functioning alcoholic so how did you start how did you start in your singing career how did that come about when i was young um it, it, in choir i guess it's always been just a oh, gospel yeah mm, it's always been just um a desire, you know, it was always something there. Um, and so even though life kind of got in the way and stuff, my 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 family and stuff tried to keep me, I don't know, grounded and and, and pushing for it because I do have relatives um, and family members who are just out there on drugs and different stuff. And it's like. You can't you can't help who who don't want to be saved, kind of. Um, so I yeah, I didn't I, I didn't let that kind of overtake me, because I want so much more for me and to fight against all that negative that I feel and that I go through in my country. So I guess that's how I got. It through it and in it, um, despite the relationships and stuff, I had to cut off and, and just press forward through it for my dreams and and what be selfish and, and go back out for it, I guess. And never never give up. Just keep just keep at it. 
eventually you're going to get it. You go through your, your fails and your trial and error. But after every fail, you should learn something. So I guess I guess that's how I got there. Never giving up and just constantly trying to learn from my mistakes. So, yeah. <laughs> So how much? So how much was you involved in 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 uh, like politics side of things or what? You know? <laughs> that's, I mean, I, I know I, you were a singer. No, no, no but, but it's like um, that's kind of like a. Because you talk about Trump, as if, like, as yeah, but it's like uh, how can I put it? Uh, it's kind of like one of the 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 do not do's in in um. America, like, as far as at at work, in a workplace, um, friendly said it doesn't matter, but I guess mostly in a workplace or somewhere social where people aren't necessarily just your friend, some things you just don't talk about because it can bring conflict, like religion and politics. Those can bring forth real big flares, regardless if you are, um, Democrat, Republican, Libertarian, whatever. Everybody has their own opinions, like a butthole. <laughs> so it can get bad with politics and with religion and stuff. So I try to stay out of it. I try to stay out of it. Um, unless, you know, I'm around people that I'm comfortable with. I try to stay out of it. Because everybody has their own opinion, I don't judge. And I'll ask you something, listen. right? Everybody, everybody who's, who's listening your, to, to this podcast, yeah, are going to ask me, who are you? Right? I'm nobody. <laughs> and what, like, you're a famous singer, yeah? Um, I'm making my way. <laughs> yeah, you know that? And, and me, met, me and you met in the city yeah. um, when, on, a, on a gig. Mm. And, and, I'm, and I saved, I didn't save your life, but... <laughs> I mean, I was working for you with your with, yeah. your, with your bodyguards. Yeah, because you're the I man. Mean, yeah, <laughs> and you know, and because I was I was I was working with you, and I done what I did, and we've been friends ever since. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. And it's not gonna stop. Yeah. And thank you for letting me come by. But everybody, stuff. I'll be I asking me who you are. I'll come back. I'll come back, and we'll do another one. But yeah. right now, I'm 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 no I'm just a mystery right now. I'm just somebody coming over to enjoy, enjoy something better, you know. Are you gonna do another gig here, or are you going back to America? No, no, no I'm going. I, I gotta get back. I gotta get. You back. You haven't done no. a gig. You just come here to sightsee, to buy things. Mm, mm, yeah. You been to Howard? Yeah. You been to Howard? Did you go to Howard? No, no. Um, so would you, did you go anywhere like uh, like any big stores? No, I went. I ran around London and I did a whole lot of sightseeing, and you could definitely yeah. tell. <laughs> you could definitely tell that I was a tourist. Um, because I was taking pictures of everything that to me so what about, just seemed odd I know, I know, or I, different. I, I know I'm interrupting, but what about you walking around with all these bodyguards and all that? Doesn't that look a little bit funny? Big guys behind you, um, or whatever. I mean, doesn't that Honestly, doesn't that look like you're someone? <laughs> every, like not everybody has been really nice and really really friendly. They only look at me crazy, I guess, when I'm kind of like this and I have a mask on. Yeah. Because it's like nobody nobody knows who I am. And I seem extra, extra guarded. But I'm used to walking around like this in America with, with that. I don't really like people looking at me a whole lot. So Why? Why? In a spin, in America, the whole mask thing was cool for me. I was like, oh yeah, I can cover up. I can, yeah. <laughs> I can be invisible. Okay. Um, different, like I said, different pressures growing up and stuff like that. Um, insecurities and things that, for the a large part, I got o I got over growing up when people would try to bully me or pick on me. No, nah, it. You know how they have the fight or flight. It was always yeah. fight for me, no matter how small I am. Win, lose, or draw, you're going to know that I'm here. Because our, our relationship was like uh, Whitney Houston 
uh, Whitney Houston and, 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 and in Bobby. Yeah, in Bodyguard, you know what I mean? It's that oh, sort of yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that sort of thing, yeah. you know what I mean? It's yeah. like it's similar, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but over here, I have not felt out of place. I have not felt weird. So what did you I have felt like you, I've, it, it's been overdone, I know, I know honestly. Met, I know you've met Whitney Houston. I know you've met her. What do you think about her as a, as a person or as a singer? No. <sighs> I was, that was something when I was very, very, very young. Yeah. I was very, 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 very but young. But did you like her music? Why did she sing? Do I? Yeah. I was very, very young. But it was just something awe-inspiring because she was in a movie that I enjoyed so much as a kid where it was a Cinderella movie and she was a fairy godmother. But in that movie, at the time for me, that was the first um big movie, it happened to be a Disney movie, that had nothing to do about race. Everybody, every race was in there, and they were somehow entangled. Like, the parents were a mixed couple. Um, Cinderella and, and, and the, the group, they were a mixed couple. Everybody of different color was in there. So, you know, just to see a, a big celebrity, it was, it was, it was everything. Okay. <laughs> As we say, it was everything. <laughs> So so, what are you gonna do? Oh, I mean, when you when you're gonna fly? When are you flying out? Uh, can I just tell you? Can I tell yeah, you? Yeah yeah yeah. Um, probably some tomorrow afternoon. Yeah. Tomorrow okay. afternoon. Yeah, I gotta go ahead and get there. I gotta be there a few hours early. Okay. Uh, Corona. I gotta show them my papers and show them this and this is negative. So uh, what about you? What about what about the people you come with? What, what, these bodyguards come from this country or they no. come from? America. They were with me, but I like I said, I feel like it, things were overdone. I didn't, it overdone. It. I didn't need it. Yeah. You didn't, didn't need it. it. You didn't need it. Nope. You did need it, you know. No. Because if you only got, <laughs> no. You only had to be record. I know, look at no one. I mean, I don't even know who you are now. Look at it, you're not like that, you know what I mean? But, <laughs> but, yeah, but what I'm saying to you, um, what about if people recognised you? Surely, didn't you think you need, needed people right around you, like bodyguards? No. So what are these people, uh, these people come from? No, especially the time that I came. The Euros were on. The Euro watching people get excited about the Euros and and um my friends and stuff that I was with who are from here. Yeah. Um, because I was like, okay, why are the police parked and stuff? What's going on? And I seen um the ambulance on certain sides of the roads and stuff that like that. They're like, that's for the Euros. I'm like, what? What, what do you mean? They get wild. I'm like, really? But. I still didn't feel scared. I thought it was funny. <laughs> so who so give you these? Who give you these bodyguards? Your manager or, or what? Or your manager? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so he must have thought it was necessary for you to have them. That's because that's just, any, uh, that's just feel, a small-minded thinking do you of feel, Americans. Do you because, feel like maybe you're under threat of anything or nothing? No, like not like I'm saying. That's just a small-mindedness yeah. of Americans yeah. because. Um, a lot of people are against it. They might sit there and say, America is the best country in the world, but over half of them will never, ever leave. You can Google it and say, Google, how many Americans actually have their passport? See what it says. Yeah. And, and, and use it. <laughs> and okay. use it. And it can't be like, Cancun or Hawaii, those are still technically uh, American states and stuff like that. Like, no, nah, no. Nah. And you I ain't talking about, about tourist when, trips. When you went to no. Cancun, what was it like? No, you went no. there. Oh, Cancun is just, I did that as a tourist thing. That's just, okay. that's just party, 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 party. Okay. <laughs> that's just did tourist thing. You recognize who you was when you went there? No, right? no, 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 no. I was young. I was, I was. A nobody. <laughs> no. nobody yeah? yeah, that was spring break type stuff. That was young, dumb stuff. But, so when did you become? But, when did you become like someone that everybody should know? <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah. That's still in the making, okay. but um, you know what? That's still in the making. Because if I sit here and say, 
then I'm gonna reveal my age. So no, yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> almost slipped up. No, you're only young, you know. Fucking, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I'm getting. I mean, I'll bet you. I gotta... bet you when you was. I bet you when you was maybe. I don't know. I ain't saying nothing, but I bet you. When yeah, you was young, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> don't say nothing. No, yeah, yeah. But this has been. This has been. I mean, I've seen you. Experience. I've seen you dress, dress up in like absolutely stunning, stunning clothes, and you'd never think that you was dressing like this, and to get into that, you know what I mean? You never think you're the same person. Why? What is this? What your, do you mean? Well, I've seen you dress in stunning clothes, like all different sorts of proper dresses, and looking really slick and nice and. Nice bags, you know, like, <laughs> you know, Herbie's bags and all these sort of things and really looking the part. Um, and yet you walk around like this. Is that is that how you walk about? Or yeah, is it, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that was just um, a stage in my life. Yeah. Um, I'm a lesbian and okay. I dress more, a little bit more masculine. Um, and at the time, yeah, back then, say that, I was going to say, oh, no, no, no. at the time back then, um, I wasn't, you know, yeah. for me, this is a choice. So, um, yeah, growing up, <laughs> I was the, 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 I don't want to say, I don't want to say the natural or the normal. I don't want to say nothing wrong. Um, because in America, um, the alphabet community, LGBT. Mm. Uh, sorry, I'm a part of the community, but they get very offensive if you are not uh, politically correct. And like I said, that's why I try to stay away. <laughs> oh, stay away. Yeah. Watch what I say because <laughs> they will come after you. I don't care how big really? of a celebrity or, or how big of a nobody or how you're trying to become a famous YouTuber. Gotta watch what you say. Got to watch what you say. I mean, but, this is this is the must be this must be the first YouTube you've done. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Why did you why 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 did you let me why did you let me do it um with you why I mean why did you why did you let me do it with you as such? Uh, because I appreciate yeah. you, Ray. I love you, and um, I don't know. I wanted to add my little bit from I I guess. An American's point of view, yeah, maybe I guess, um, <laughs> cause that's the thing. I'm um, being over here. I cannot, I cannot fake the accent. <laughs> I cannot blend in, and you all say, "Oh, your American accent is dissonant. It's like you're amazed," and I'm like, "I don't have one. You have one, and <laughs> you sound so." A lot of you sound so smart and so proper and intelligent to an American. Anything can fly out and you'll make us sound like idiots. Because <laughs> to my ear, you sound very, very um, posh and proper. Um, Americans have chopped and destroyed the English language. Really? really? Uh, yeah, me and my friends were talking over here. This compared to um, American music just in all and um in my eyes and my views i feel like we cut everything in half and that's why certain uh genres and stuff uh if you got the right catchy beat and, and stuff you can say stuff fast and you can you can mix words and stuff because we chop words that we use slang and jargon all the time yeah. and uh, Sorry, it's quick over here you still speak proper and you hold, you still have whole sentences. It's like you have too many words. <laughs> it was you a funny me, debate. <laughs> you said to me early on, right, about mm. 30 minutes ago, maybe less than that, you said that you didn't do no shopping today, yeah? But I when, when you pulled up outside the car, yeah, in the back of the car, there must have been 10 bags in there, <laughs> all from different expensive shops. What is that for? 
people go back to America with to give them away as presents? Or, or what? Have you just gone crazy? Have you just gone, have you just gone crazy? Are you embarrassing me? <laughs> I told you I stuck out as a tourist. I know, but I had to say <laughs> because, something. Yeah, because, no, it's just like yeah. souvenirs and stuff. Souvenirs? <laughs> <laughs> because, um... Because there's a lot of bags, bags in there. And the way that I travel, like, little things blow my mind. America is greedy and certain stuff just couldn't survive even on simple levels. This is probably going to sound stupid, but I thought this was amazing. In our country, um, when you see farmland and stuff, yeah, you see the crop. But when it comes to animals and stuff, you... I haven't known. I have never really just known to ever see um, you farming deer and stuff like that. That blew my mind. Because um, for the most part, it's illegal. And the meat is so good, uh, they have hunting season, but you can only shoot up to so much because Ameri- it's a limited supply. You got to let, yeah, repo- yeah. let them repopulate. You can't just farm them. And if there are some farms, they're not the kind that you have. They're like a reindeer and stuff. You know, and you you can only hold those up for like a season or something. I think like for Christmas for the pageants and stuff, they're not used to eat. So no, Americans are greedy. I, I seen that. So, oh my god! And I immediately thought, do you know how many people be out here and just bang 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 bang? Because <laughs> you can turn that meat into so jerky and different stuff, and it's very very expensive. When I went into the shops and I seen them. Uh, how reasonable your food was. I was like, my God, this is, this is, this is crazy. You told me, boy, I'm going to gloss you up, yeah? I'm going to gloss you up. Yeah? What? Don't please don't. You told me what? that you went to a place called Aldi's today? Yeah. What's all that about in Aldi's? Because, because, all right. Why? Why did you go to Aldi's? Okay, this is the thing, this yeah. is the thing. Never in my life in America will I ever get a whole lamb leg like the Size of my arm mm. for twelve pounds. Yeah, but you crazy? don't. My twelve pounds. That's thirty pound off the top in America. Are you crazy? <laughs> and so, then you had it at Aldi. What? So you that would never be at that store. That'd be at like Whole Food or I don't know. It wouldn't be there. So I was just blown. Like you had family packs of chicken wing, two pound. That in America you get twelve wing, seven pound. Seven pounds. Yeah, but why you don't need uh, you don't need to you shouldn't like it's, it's just expensive. It's expensive. It's very expensive. Um and like you <laughs> you guys came down on me, man, yeah. when it came to the foods, like yeah, your English breakfast. Yeah, you can't take that back, you sure you can you can't take it back to America. What? The food. No, no no, I wouldn't dare. Simply because I could, but the way that they hound you through the border, no, yeah. I don't have to. No, it's not so worth gonna, it. Uh, it's not worth it. I'd rather so look up the get, ingredients you because you leave, you leave some that. of it, yeah, but it's okay. like it, it, I still got the the main ingredients and stuff like that because some stuff was just yeah. I want to I want to take that experience and go back. Um, like um, I got to try red snapper curry goat, um, from real Jamaicans and it was oh so much love. It's just all the culture that I got to experience is. I'm definitely, I got the time to snap pictures and, and different stuff so I can find it over there, okay. you know, and make it over there. Because, yeah, it's just too much trouble. But, um, like, 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 um, your continental breakfast, okay? Listen, yeah, I'm American and I have a sweet tooth. I have bad, bad, bad. So, you guys are mostly savory. We're not. Our main staples is bacon, egg sausage that's the hearty that's the savory you always gotta have either pancakes french toast waffles or what, for toast yes for all of that and see when i went to your shops didn't matter what town london maystone hit didn't matter i could get your whole continental breakfast in whole like hearty are you for, telling people? Four nine nine are you telling people what? yeah that you're living That's in Mason? You're, you got a big place in Mason somewhere? No, you keep no, mentioning Mason. We're not saying that. We're not saying and, that. And you got no, a big place I got Mason? I got family, I got friends, I got love. Yeah, okay. I got love everywhere, right? <laughs> but no.
no, it, it just blows my mind because, okay, that continental breakfast that I told, our staples, our stuff would start at, just for the basics, you would start at eight ninety nine and then go up. But it depends on the type of restaurant, you know, four star, five star, you know what I'm saying? Or little cafe or whatever, but still, little cafes, okay, fine. You start off at six ninety nine. Six, yeah, six ninety nine per month. But everything is very reasonable in the cost and stuff. There's still stuff that I have to um, still study and figure out. Because like you said, some people get paid monthly and that blows my mind. I'm like, whoa, how do you survive? But still everything is, your government helps. Your government is kind and reasonable. Your food and stuff is affordable. So you can manage it is manageable. In America, that's not manageable. You think it's worse in America? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. You think poverty is worse in America? I really haven't just seen your poverty. Not in my eyes. I haven't seen anybody home. You know what? Mm. I was in town center somewhere, and uh, I did see somebody laying down. But I think they, I, honestly, I had seen them. 20 minutes earlier, and he was bopping around with his with his radio going, and I think he was feeling good, so he was probably just buzzed. <laughs> I don't even know if he was home because it wasn't like he was dirty and nasty. He, he wasn't like he looked smelly. So I was like, uh, he, he, he's like wasted. <laughs> he's feeling like good. In, so. What's it like in America? What's it like in your town? Where you come from? Is it, what is it like? In your town? Wow. I mean, you told me your town's quite clean. Yeah, they are. So you don't necessarily see where I'm at um, homeless people living on the streets, but we do have homeless shelters, and you you see them around. But um, police end up picking them up, and they, if they want it bad enough, or they've been living on the street long enough, they'll do something, or they'll beg them to take them to jail so they can you know be warm. But and police would be more than willing because it's like they get paid by the body over there. Exactly. But that, that that that's just the system. I don't know how it is over here. It's probably jail is shit everywhere, you know. But yeah, they get paid by the body. Mm. You said to me when we was talking about, and I was like, when, when I got to know you as such, and I was telling you about how long I've been in prison, mm -hmm. and you watched my podcast, yeah, yeah, and you're saying that I've been in prison for a lot, a long time in my life. Yeah. But then you're telling me about. Prisons in your country, where they go and get like ten lives, yeah, be, okay, and sixty because years. Because I feel um, like at at the, the end difference? of what they they did to you, I feel yeah. like was pointless. Yeah. Okay. I feel like okay. Well, it's okay, Ray. You are you are. I the man. You're, the man. you're the man. Yeah. You're the man. You're badass. But like I I me <laughs> on the outside looking in I. I don't see you as a bad person, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you, man. You like my godfather. Like I love you, man. I see through all that, and it's to me, it's like you did a job. That's just actions in a situation for that situation. I don't think you you'd act out like that in every situation. No, you, you you're you're a kind, sweethearted human being. That's just the stuff yeah, that nice you one. had to do on the clock, man. Nice one. Period. Yeah, nice one. <laughs> Period. Is that work, man? You got that's called smart, up, man. That's what work. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And I feel like, yeah. okay, fine. Yeah, your job was a tough job. Yeah, yeah? It was just say it like that. But I feel like it was pointless mm -hmm. to um, have you held up kind of and and spurts like that yeah. and then have you free but still kind of like in my mind like on a little leash for, for, for this amount of time like yeah, come yeah. on you might as well have done the largest amount of time or what probation or whatever in locked up or whatever while you were laying down just go ahead and get it over with and then they let you out and do as little time in probation I guess because that's what I'm used to in America it's kind of vice versa. You, you, and I guess depending on the situation, your probation can kind of vary. Mm -hmm. Depending on a person, depending on the situation, 
depending on the state. Right. It we're gonna end it. We're gonna end it here, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I yeah. Think yeah. We've yeah. gone on a bit too much, really. Not not too much. I mean, not disrespectful. I mean, no, no, no. but I mean, you're not going maybe to when you're going. Uh you keep telling me one day then you <laughs> no, 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 it's you... tomorrow, but I gotta be there a few hours early. Yeah, okay. I gotta make sure that I get there. Okay. Um, I'm probably gonna jet out probably ten in the morning because my flight leaves in the afternoon. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I gotta be there. Yeah, but I had to stop by. I had to come by, and just. I know you got. I can't believe put it. Put my you little American that, so. spin on it. Because the people are going mad outside my house. The big fucking car outside my house is massive, yeah? <laughs> is it the, no, it's guys, just the biggest thing. And two big guys sitting in the motor. <laughs> <laughs> They've been there all day. I mean, yeah. I mean, I know you. I know you sent pizzas out to them. People, you got yeah, pizza people delivering pizzas and drinks to them, but. It's they cheap. Do that all day. They do that all day. It's cheap. They ain't got nothing to complain about. Yeah, they're getting paid. They're getting paid for it. Yeah, yeah. They got nothing to complain about, man. You're getting taken care of. Yeah. You're at Ray 